Hello everybody. I know I promised to make a video if anyone showed an interest in my uh, solar tracking thingy. And while I should have made this video earlier, well, <laughs> better late than never, huh? So let's get on with it. Now, how it works. It's uh, real simple, consists of only six components, a power supply, a motor, a couple of the uh, single pole double throw relays and two uh, six volt one watt solar panels that are used for light detection now setting it up uh, connect the two normally closed contacts of the relays together and then connect them to the terminal of your power supply then connect the normally open contacts of the relays together and connect them to the other terminal of the power supply. Connect the commons of the relays to the terminals on the motor. And finally, connect the solar panels to the coils of the relays. Now, when sufficient light falls onto a particular panel, it energizes the coil within the respect corresponding relay which causes the armature within that relay to move to the normally open position which results in the motor being connected to the power supply causing the motor to spin in a certain direction dependent on what relay has been activated once the panel has been rotated out of the sun the coil in the relay loses power, the armature falls back to its default position and everything stops. Of course, if you find the thing rotating in the wrong direction, this can easily be remedied by switching the polarity on the power supply or on the motor itself. Now while this system is simple and doesn't use any power when not making correction, it's not very accurate. Um, it was okay during the winter months. I mean, it's still useless for um, like uh, positioning a heliostat or something like that. But as we progressed uh, into the summer months, I found the unit started making fewer and fewer corrections until we eventually got into the depths of summer and it basically stopped working altogether. While I find, found the project to be interesting, I largely consider it to be a failure. However, since then I've become more confident at uh, the use of um, solid state devices such as transistors, even started fooling around with some Arduinos, uh, such as this, which is a prototype for an Arduino-based solar tracking system that makes use of the uh, cadmium sulfide photoresistors as uh, light detectors. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to um, be able to get that to work. Anyway, that's my first attempt at a solar tracking system, uh, and that's how it works. So thanks for watching.